Hey Virgo, welcome back to your weekend love reading. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. Take a fist, leave the rest. This, as always, is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, let's get into this weekend. Happy Memorial Weekend to all of you who celebrate. We're going to take a look at May 26th, 27th, and the 28th. Okay, so... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Well, look, what a surprise. Okay. Um, yeah, you've got the Six of Cups. You have the King of Swords. Okay, let's get it. Let me just, I just want to get the cards out. Okay, I just want to, I just want to get the cards out. I just want to get the cards out and see what's going on here. I don't want to spend my whole time shuffling. But, I mean, Virgo, wow. Hmm. Okay, interesting. So, you do have Friday, perhaps... An air sign who is going to try to reach out to you over the weekend. Okay, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Understand it could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but there is someone here um, who feels compelled, compelled to talk to you. Wait, I gotta fix my camera because what is going on here? Yeah, completely compelled to make a beeline in your direction on Friday for sure. Okay. Um, apology, give a gift, um, say hello, try to reconnect with you. Um, this person is broke, busted, and disgusted. They, um, I'm just hearing like they're not giving up. This is somebody who felt like they fought the good fight and then, you know, the round is over. They go back to their corner and then they kind of refresh and then, you know, look at the, um, check out the replay see what happens see what's going on and then ding 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 back into the ring so this is an energy of someone with that devil it's like it could border along obsessed but it's definitely someone who um virgo could be a capricorn too just so you know um but definitely someone who is like i'm just hearing compelled to connect with you you know, just really, oh uh, yeah, I mean, Virgo, look at this, okay, I mean, they're coming in with a very sincere kind of offer, but I just feel like this person, it, it's like, yeah, just can't, like, it's impossible to let go, because there's like a chained energy here, so, I mean, let me just take a look at this devil real quick and see why the devil card is here, like, it could even be obsessed or physically obsessed with you, or having, like, some kind of sexual desire to connect with you, like, you're, you're all I think about, baby, you're all, like, I hope you have a great holiday weekend, <laughs> yeah, just letting you know, just saying hi, okay, oh, this person, yeah, they're planning to come your way, Virgo, look at that, two of wands and the chariot, yep, <laughs> Hey, did you get that new car? How's your car? I heard you bought a new car. Looking for some kind of excuse. Can I take a ride in your car, baby? Yeah, Friday, listen. Whoever they are, they could, whatever sign they are, right? There, there is an energy with the King of Swords. If someone is very intentional and strategic, and this person has been thinking about this, about connecting with you, okay? Um, having some kind of an excuse, you know, um, if you were in like some kind of fender bender, they find out about it and they want to know like how you're doing, how you're feeling, um, asking if you've taken that trip or are you going anywhere, doing anything fun for the weekend. Yeah, Virgo. So listen, I'm going to just tell you that um, somebody's going to try and come in and reconcile with you, this person on Friday. You know what? I do want to get... I do. I said I was going to retire these, but I just want to get this Romance Angel card. I'm just curious. There we go. Um, masculine or feminine energy, for sure. Past life relationship. Like, you can't make this up, Virgo. Okay. Past is showing up over this weekend. Could be getting on Friday, but yeah. Going to hear from somebody. All right. Let me take a look at Saturday. What's going on for Saturday? All right. Queen of Wands is here. Oh. Three of Cups. Oh, Page of Swords. Oh, oh my goodness. Are you doing something on Saturday? You going to a you going to a barbecue or a party? Are you doing something? You got plans for Saturday? Because it might be like you're stepping out. 
or you get invited by a friend okay yeah look at the tower that's like right there we're cooking some um we're cooking some shish kebabs over the fire <laughs> things are heating up listen there's definitely um there could be an invite or somebody's like dying for you to come see them or, or like it's a gathering possibly s saturday could be sunday there's just you know the energy over the weekend the queen of wands it could be somebody you get invited by um a queen of wands masculine or feminine the queen um wands is someone who's like sh she likes to have fun okay queen of wands is feisty confident self-assured bold powerful charming courageous it's kind of like a very intuitive but um someone action oriented go out dancing go out and have fun you know um you definitely get invited let me see what that tower energy is though okay and you also have somebody here like if some of you are posting like you know Okay, I'm going to say this for you social media users, those of you who like take a lot of pictures and you go out to, the, to a party or you do something and you're posting that stuff. I don't know, somebody's watching, somebody's seeing it. Could be the person from yesterday <laughs> with the unknown phone calls coming at you, but um, or the unknown numbers calling and texting or whatever, but... Um, yeah, somebody's going to, so I don't know if they're seeing you on social media or they find out or they're like curious or they're trying to get more information about something that you're doing over the weekend. Okay. Um, hmm. They want to know who's like cooking up your, your hamburgers and your hot dogs. They're like, who's that at the grill? Who, who, oh, they're looking at you like Virgo, like, who's Virgo standing next to? Who's Virgo having some drinks with? Who Vir who's Virgo like filling up their picnic plate with? Hmm. Very curious. <laughs> but there's definitely an energy over the weekend of some kind of like get together for sure. And it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, you know, for you and a friend. Or maybe you're going to go on a date with someone or meet someone. Also, you could be meeting somebody. You could be meeting a fire sign or connecting with a fire sign for some of you over the weekend. Somebody's like... You know here Virgo what do you want to eat here let me get some chicken I'll put it on the grill for you <laughs> this is like a Memorial Day weekend I know not all of you are celebrating that because you're not all not all of you are in the United States but in the US we celebrate that here so most of my viewers are from the US so I'm gonna be talking to you if you're not having some kind of picnic celebratory holiday thing over the weekend or maybe you're just gonna do something or go to some kind of party I do feel like somebody's gonna like try to catch a glimpse and if you have pictures you're taking or if somebody sees you there's like you know who's we're hanging out with yeah a little bit of that energy oh yeah let me get um let's see what the romance angel is for that Now, for those of you, like I said, who if you're not if you're not one of those social media people that post stuff or you know you're what you're doing that kind of thing, um, I do feel like someone will be curious to find out. Like asking friends or asking other people or trying to inquire to you specifically, like, oh, what do you what you do? What are you doing this weekend? Like, who are you going out with? Who are you hanging out with? Where are you going? Yeah, a lot of curiosity. What happened here? I thought, there you go. Okay, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, I don't even know what that means. What situation? You can trust, Virgo, that someone's spying on you <laughs> over the weekend. Yeah, someone's spying on you over the weekend, for sure. Okay, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Yeah, somebody wants to talk to you. Or sit down and have a heart-to-heart. -heart -to -heart. And if they're not spying, this is someone who's just very curious about you. Like, talk to me, talk to me. Let's talk. Let's, like, you know... Let's discuss how we feel about each other. So, like, if you're going out and, like, some of y'all are just, you know what, I just want to have my burger and a beer. I really don't want to get into this deep romantic stuff. But maybe later after we have a few drinks later on in the evening. You know, um, some of you are just simply, like, going to have fun and be around family, be around friends. And I do feel like you'll get some kind of invite over the weekend to do something or go somewhere. Okay? Um, this can be a short reading because, hey, Virgo, I'm already getting my... Uh, my picnic party hat on for this weekend so let me see what's going on sunday for virgo what's going on? oh my goodness all right we are not taking all those but i'll tell you what if they show back up again we'll honor it okay show virgo sunday sunday virgo's gonna be like oh just give me some aspirin and sleep okay so sunday you have what's going on the eight of swords 
Yeah, you know what, Virgo? I don't know. Be careful. If, if you're not pacing yourself on Saturday, I don't know. Even if you just eat too much, you might have like a food hangover or something. Um, Sunday is kind of like, no, I'm just, you know, Sunday you're going you're gonna to be feeling all incarcerated and like, oh my God, I drank too much. If you're drinking, be careful. Uh, Sunday looks like a day of like, <laughs> Sunday's like, I don't know, Virgo. I know, like, not all of you are like this. I know. I get it. It might just be you eat something and it's like, doesn't sit right with you, okay? I kind of feel like Sunday is going to be just recovery, like, and I know some of you are going to have off work on Monday, so, I don't know, maybe just, you know, but for somebody hand you, like, um, I don't know, some bacon or some something they're cooking on the grill, just be like, make sure it wasn't sitting out too long or... The flies were like dancing all over it. <laughs> all right, let me see. A couple more cards here. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <clears throat> I feel like someone's gonna want to connect with you on Sunday, definitely. But I don't see you. I feel like you're like, nah, no, I'm staying in. Sunday's like a total day of rest. I don't think you're going to be feeling all that well. And I'm not saying, like, don't worry, you're not going to get, like, food poisoning. I just feel like you might have, like, stomach ache or something along those lines going on on Sunday. Um, or, you know, like, at some point over the weekend where it's just, like, I kind of feel like, I don't know, like, you, you kind of, like, looking back on the night before and just feeling like, oh, man, I shouldn't have shared those drinks, you know, or... <laughs> Even with the Seven of Swords, it's like, I got to get out of here. I don't feel good. Wherever you are, Sunday is definitely going to be a day of rest. That's how I feel. I really do. Whatever you're doing. Okay, let me just see. This I feel like I'm like doing a reading for a college student, honestly. <laughs> I know not all of you drink. I just feel like some of you might eat too much cake. I don't know. Maybe the weather is going to be super, super warm, and then you're just like, you know... To maybe you get a little heat exhaustion just take care of yourself Sunday yeah God's coming down with like here take this <laughs> fill up on some like vitamins you need to like re uh I don't know, rehydrate Virgo <laughs> Spirit. spirits coming down with a big old ibuprofen Virgo you just yeah you just seriously need to rest on Sunday I feel like you're going to be doing that let me see what the Romance Angel message is here for you some of you might be careful if you kind of like give in to someone who wants to like be with you or something. I don't know. I don't feel like a lot of Virgos are like that. But if you do that, you might have a little regret <laughs> or something. Oh, geez. You've got wedding. The situation involves marriage. Some of you are going to be like connecting with like um, someone you were married before or maybe a married person. No, Virgo. No, don't do it. <laughs> I know you don't. I know. Um I just, I have so much faith in you, Virgo. I don't think you'll do something like that. Just because you're, you've been through it. You're like, N I don't do that. No, I don't connect with married people. But, I mean, you might have somebody to um, come over and try to, like, say, here, can I, can I help you? Do you need some vitamins? Do you need anything? Um, somebody takes care of you as well if you're not feeling well on Sunday. I mean, li listen, Virgo, it could just be like, I don't know, maybe you have a headache or just something along those lines. You know what I mean? And I do feel like, you know, you connect with someone for sure. Whoever this person is, though, I do kind of get a sense like, I don't know if this is going to be somebody you're going to marry. They keep telling me that. I don't know. Like, that just seems weird. Let me just get another card. You want to give us another? Okay, they do. Ooh, true love connection. <gasps> Virgo, somebody comes and helps you out. Oh, it's so romantic. Somebody comes and like, do you need anything? Can I get you anything? They come over. Maybe they bring like, I don't know, chicken soup for your soul. They kind of like want to help you out. Um, somebody, and Virgo, you might be like, oh my God, this is like so amazing. Somebody's like actually coming here to help me. I'm always helping everybody else. Somebody's coming to take care of you Sunday for something. I don't know. Virgo, Virgo's like scheming. Like, hmm, let me see if I can find some rotten hot dogs. <laughs> Just kind of eat them so I can get somebody over. That's crazy. I did not say that. That's super, super crazy. Um, yeah, so 
I'm going to leave it there. I know. I know. It was only like 15, 16 minutes. But I feel like, um, I don't know. I don't feel like going any further. So that's that. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and a fantastic Memorial Holiday weekend. Um, if you're celebrating. And uh, yeah, I'm going to open up a few more slots if anybody wants to get a personal reading with me going forward. Um, and that's it. So I love you guys. And I uh, want you to make good choices going forward in your life and be happy. I love you. Have a great weekend. Bye. <laughs>